Hi, I'm Van Wallen. Two months ago, I sat here outside the library and recounted a list of last things. Meetings, dinners, movies, everything that came to a dead stop in March when the pandemic hit. Now, the halting process of reopening makes me think about first things. The, uh, the first that I'm thinking of uh, show how I adjusted to the shock of the pandemic. So in this piece, I'm just gonna tell you about some of my first times to do certain things, reflecting the way life changed starting in March. March 26, the first time to total up my retirement accounts after the crash and my response, oh my God, March 27th, first time to use Zoom for a Chabad of Bedford discussion of the weekly Torah portion of Vayikra, which is the start of the book of Leviticus. March 27th, first time to cut my beard off in over 20 years. March 28th, first time to exceed 200,000 steps in a month on my phone pedometer since I got my iPhone in 2018. Now that pedometer is a real incentive for exercise. I'm aiming to get 300,000 steps either in June or July. March 30th, first donation to an online publication that needs support, Legal Insurrection, which is a great site. April 1st, first time to use Zoom and figure out how to turn the video on. Hit F8 on my laptop keyboard. April 2nd, first order of chocolate bars to support a manufacturer with a free set with purchase deal and help an organic cocoa organization in Tanzania. That was a win-win situation for everybody. April 3rd, first medical appointment not to happen, my annual eye exam. April 7th, first open mic recording done right here on the streets of Katona rather than in front of an audience. April 13th, first telemedicine session with a doctor. I didn't even know what telemedicine was. April 13th, first day to wear my camo face mask and gloves while going out to CVS and ShopRite. April 17th, this is breaking the pattern a bit, second day to make donations to support organizations. I sent funds to two weekly publications that needed support, and I committed to do monthly payments to Cole Cambridge, an Israeli music podcast that I greatly enjoy. I have to note that on, uh, on April 17th, the Dow inde stock index rose 704 points, which put me into a very generous mood, at least until the next thousand point drop. April 22nd, first trip to Costco in 2020 with a massive shopping list. I spent almost $400 as I ran around the aisles like a winner in the old show, Clean for a Day. April 25th, first day to pick up food at Salsa Fresca here in Bedford, New York. May 1, first day to take an online class, the Ordinary Grace photograph, photography class taught by photographer Amy Drucker. It was uh, involved one photo prompt a day for the entire month. May 22nd, first online live open mic through the Delaware Art Museum with three minutes of time which went pretty quickly. I talked about the evolution of corporate dress codes from suits in the corporate office down to jammies and bathrobes of the quarantine home office. May 28th, 30th, first virtual reunions for Princeton University. This was my 40th reunion. And I plan to be on campus for the big event. Well, it got canceled but the class of 1980 pushed ahead with videos of memories plus online panel discussions, a talent show, and chat rooms. I'm hoping we're back on campus in 2025 for the 45th reunion. Okay, nothing. June 12 to 14, first pandemic road trip and wedding. My partner Naomi's daughter planned a June wedding many months ago. The venues that she and her fiance reserved in Westchester County shut down, but they rented a house in Coxsackie, New York, and had plenty of room for guests and a covered pavilion. Naomi and I booked an Airbnb in Catskill, New York, not too far away, and we hit the Taconic 
heading north for a road trip. The wedding party was smaller than planned, but Zoom enabled a lot more to actually view the outdoor ceremony, and everything went fine with a beautiful June bride, like the tradition says. So it was quite an experience, and as Willie Nelson sings, it's great to be back on the road again. So here it is, June 18th, 2020, and I am back at the library. On April 16th, I noted that the book, The Weight of Ink, was the last book I had checked out from the Katona Village Library. The book drop then was wrapped up as tight as King Tut's mummy. Now the wraps are off and the library has partially reopened for pickups and drop-offs. So I still have The Weight of Ink, and I'm happy to announce that it is going to be the first book I return to the library. There you go. Nothing but net, as they say in basketball. So I'm relishing the pleasure of considering what's going to be the first book I check out of the library now that it's partially reopened. What book's going to get the honor? I haven't decided yet, but you know I'm going to do an open mic about that experience. You can count on that. Thank you.